everybody! Welcome to the Jade and Stitches Show! We've got a basic egg-shaped applique for you today. You can dress these up, leave them plain, stitch a bunch together to make a bunting, or just sew them on to your spring projects. You can use scraps, so this doesn't take up very much yarn, and you'll probably have a dozen made in the time it takes to make dinner. <laughs> so let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, head on over to the craft table, and make ourselves up some eggs. For your egg applique, you can use worsted weight size 4 yarn or lightweight size 3 yarn like I'm using today. You don't need very much, this is a scrap project. You may also want a few other small pieces of different colors if you want to decorate your eggs, but that's entirely up to you. Just to give you an idea of the size difference, that is the worsted weight yarn, and that fills the palm of my hand. This is the lightweight yarn, so same number of rows, same hook size. That's the difference between worsted weight and lightweight size. Speaking of hooks, I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook, or a G6, and you're going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. And once you've got all that, we can get started. I'm going to show you how to make two different egg sizes today, a large and a small. These are both made using worsted weight and my size 4.25 millimeter hook. This is four rows, this is three rows. So that gives you an idea of the difference in size. And I'll show you when we get to the end of row three what to do if you want to make the small one, and then we'll continue on with row four to make the big one. We're going to begin with a slip knot. Then chain five. Once you've got five chains, skip the first chain from the hook, find the second, and single crochet into it. Single crochet into each of the next two chains. And work three single crochet into the last chain. This is going to naturally turn your work, and we're going to work up the opposite side now to finish up row one. Okay, these are the undersides of the chains we just worked. We've put three into this chain here, which is the last chain. We're going to work a single crochet into each of the next two. And I'm working over my short tail, just because I like to weave it in as I go. And that brings us back up to the place we put our first single crochet. There you can see the underside of it. We're going to work two more single crochet into that same chain. And that is it for row one. Alright, you should have ten single crochet stitches all the way around. Find the first single crochet you made and join with a slip stitch. To begin row two, we're going to chain one, and into that same place that we joined, just get these little two guys out of here, so that same place that we joined and just chained out of, if I pull up on it you can see it, you're going to work two single crochets into that same stitch, now you're going to single crochet into the next stitch, and we're going to change up the pattern. Into the next stitch, half double crochet once. Into the next stitch, two half double crochets, and you can work two half double crochets into each of the next three stitches as well, so that'll be a total of eight half double crochets, rounding out the bottom of our chubby little bottomed egg. So you've got two half double crochets worked into the four stitches all the way around the bottom here. That brings us up the other side. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to work two single crochets into each of the next two stitches. So this one and this one here, which is sort of a false stitch, but you're going to work two single crochets 
into each of them. And that will give you a stitch count of 18 in total at the end of row 2. Join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet you made. And that is it for row 2. Like I said, you should have 18 stitches in total all the way around. Row 3. Chain 1. Work two single crochets into the same stitch that you joined in. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, three. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to round this bottom by working the following pattern four times. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the stitch after that. And that is what we're going to repeat three more times. So two half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that twice more. After you've finished that little repeat, we're going to single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So just back to single crochet now. and work two single crochet into the next stitch. So you should have two stitches left. So two single crochet into the next stitch. That brings us up to the top. We're going to skip this little false stitch this time. See how tiny it is? We're going to skip that. We're only going to single crochet into the last stitch once. That should give you a total stitch count of 24 all the way around. And now you're going to join to the top of that first single crochet. And if you are making a small egg, so if this is lightweight yarn, this is three rows, you can fasten off, so snip your yarn, pull your tail back through your, your last loop there on the hook, fasten off, and that's it for the small egg. If you want to make the bigger egg, you can continue with me now for row four. Row four, chain one, Work two single crochet in the same stitch that you joined in. So if you pull up on your hook, you should be able to see it lift a little bit. Work two single crochet in there. And now you're going to single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to work the following pattern three times. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. So that's two half double crochet into the first of three stitches and work a half double crochet into each of the next two. So this little pattern is two, one, one. You're going to repeat this twice more as we round out the chubby little bottom of our egg. Two half double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet into each of the next two. All right, we're going to half double crochet once more into the next stitch we keep that nice evenness going around the bottom of our egg. We're going to single crochet, so back to single crochet, into the next four stitches. Work two single crochet into the next stitch. single crochet into the next stitch. 
And that leaves us with a false and a final. We're going to skip the false stitch. We're going to work two single crochets into that last stitch and then join to the top of that first single crochet. And that should give you a total stitch count of 30. But if your egg looks like an egg, don't worry about the stitch count. <laughs> and that's the large egg. Now I made this one using lightweight yarn, so it's not as big as the worsted weight as I showed you in the beginning. So there's the worsted weight. So palm size, almost hand size worsted weight. This is the lightweight. And that's how big it wound up being. So you snip your yarn. Fasten off. Then you can take your yarn needle and weave in that little tail across the back underneath some of those stitches. And if you're going to go ahead and embroider, like I did, you can take the opportunity to grab some of your other colored yarn, so little little bee, wee wee scraps you might have lying around, and just do some cute little embroidery. Or you can completely leave it plain, especially if you're using this pretty little variegated yarn, this nice eastery color variegated yarn. That looks really pretty on its own too. So go ahead, weave in your tail, and if you feel that it's kind of tight, you can either flatten it out, use the heat of your hand, to just sort of like flatten it down, or if it's really giving you trouble, remember you can always steam block it. And that's it. And there you go, the basic egg shape applique. You can leave them plain, dress them up, use lightweight yarn, worsted weight yarn. It's entirely up to you whether you want a large one or a small one. <laughs> Perfect for all of your spring projects. If you're wondering about the scarf I'm wearing, it's actually a shawl pattern we did a little while ago here on the show. And we'll put the link in the description box down below if you're looking to make somebody something fancy uh, for the upcoming spring celebrations. And that's pretty much it for now. So thank you once again for tuning in. We will see you again soon on the Jade and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty. See ya.